This is going to be a before and after video. The first half is going to be, why, in my opinion, before we've discussed the issue of whether humanity is an arrogant species. Now, I think to claim that we are an arrogant species appears to be, a, in a sense, a form of anthropomorphism. Now that sounds a bit strange because if you say something's anthropomorphic, you're normally saying you're attributing human characteristics to a non-human phenomenon or individual, such as God, natural phenomena, or non-human animals. For example, you can think of the proud peacock, the cheeky monkey, or the lazy sloth. So that's a bit strange because we're saying it's because humans are not like humans. But this, what I mean by this is that when we say humanity is an arrogant species, we are attempting to generalize about something that we can't really look outside. We can say, come up with examples of how we are arrogant. For example, in the Abrahamic tradition, there seems to be the idea that human beings are at the pinnacle of creation. And in the Jain tradition, which is often seen as a model of altruism and non-violence, human beings are at the center of the universe and are the only beings able to achieve enlightenment. So you have to wait to be reincarnated as a human being before you can get to moksha up there. So there's an element of arrogance there. Now there is also further arrogance in secular ways of looking at the world. For example, humanism seems to place inordinate faith in the perfectibility of human nature and a rational approach also seems to suggest that we believe that we are rational beings, whereas in fact we may not be. The reason we may not be rational beings is that if we evolved in order to have our thought processes enable us to survive, that's not the same thing as being rational. We perceive the world in a particular way because we're primates and we've come down from the trees, so we have colour vision, uh, we can't see infrared or ultraviolet, we have a very poor sense of smell and so forth. So our view of the world is determined by the conditions under which we evolved. And there's no re particular reason to suppose that we would evolve a general form of intelligence or rationality that would enable us to deal with a wide variety of situations that have never been thrown at us before outside a Paleolithic situation. In a sense, uh, it's arrogant to suppose that our rationality is going to be sufficient to enable us to see things from outside ourselves. To say that we're arrogant is actually probably quite misleading because it's attributing a particular characteristic to human beings that doesn't look outside the human condition because we can't look outside the human condition. So we may have burned down all the forests and we may have caused all the megafauna to become extinct and various other things like that, but that doesn't mean we're arrogant, it means that we don't know what we're doing. And it is in fact possible to invent a new way of looking at things, which is less arrogant. And when we do that, uh, we're more likely to survive. But I don't think that there's anything essential about the human species that means that we are arrogant. And if there was, that would be something that we all had, and therefore would have very little meaning. So no, I don't think we're an arrogant species. I think that we are a species which perhaps falsely claims to be rational and um, that is probably misleading and we have a tendency to place inordinate faith in things that there isn't any reason to place faith in, perhaps because we are afraid of nihilism. But I wouldn't say that we're arrogant because to be arrogant, to understand that you'd have to be able to be another species looking in on us and we are not another species looking on us we are just human beings so we can't say we're arrogant because that would um, be stepping outside ourselves and we can't do that